Well, ladies and gentlemen, non rude user here again, your liberty loving limey. And it is currently the 29th of July 2023. And I have just been listening at uh, 7 pm UK time to LB Serious Radio which as you may know at that, uh, at that time on a Saturday evening normally they carry the Natasha Demented show and uh, I could only stand it for uh, 30 minutes because my sides are splitting. <laughs> this, this is just pure comedy gold. But, you know, when your sides are splitting, well, laughter, there's only so much comedy you can take. Now, a uh, particular caller in point um, I don't recall the name excuse me of the caller but the time was approximately 7.20 p.m. when Natasha Demented took this call and she didn't go a bundle on it because the caller was uh, pretty down quick, shut down and told in no uncertain terms not to call her again on the subject that she was discussing. Apparently, I'm paraphrasing here, but um, still working from memory. But they could call her again on a different subject. Now, this is my point about Labour left alone whack jobs, which I consider Natasha demented to be. They just do not want to listen to conflicting slash opposing opinions, you know? It's like, yeah, don't agree with me. Button off, right? What's that about? It's supposed to be leading Britain's conversation, you know? I think by now people in Britain can phone into a radio station, LB Serious and such like, and have a civilised conversation about the subject they've called up about, which she invited, I think, by the way. Okay? But as I say, Conflicting opposing opinion to hers. Nah, don't like it. <coughs> Off. Hmm. Very, very peculiar. And then, at approximately 7.25pm, not many minutes after this caller had given the, you know, Natasha demanded to give them the <coughs> button, you know, off, don't like what you're saying. <clears throat> Some, uh, what sounded to me to be a female voice, you know, who knows these days, could have been LB, TG, Q, BI, LBC, BBC, Hi, DV, who knows? It's all, it's all getting crazy. But anyway, this person 
who sounded to me like a female by her voice called up, Natasha demanded, and was put on the air. And again, I'm paraphrasing, but it was like, um, Oh, hello, Natasha. How nice to speak to you. I love your show. I think the sun shines out of your portal. Can I pull the chain for you, Natasha? <laughs> yeah. And and she was allowed, like, you know, a substantial amount of time more than this other guy who had called up with an opposing, different opinion to Natasha Demanded's on this subject. I can't even remember what they were talking about. I was just, my sides were absolutely splitting with the hypocrisy of this so-called journalist, um, radio presenter, whatever you want to call her. I know what I call her. She's a lefty loon whack job. That's what I call her. Who will not listen to any conflicting, opposing opinions to hers. And that is why I find the Natasha Demented show to be comedy gold. But, as I say, there's only so much comedy you can take. Wasn't there, I seem to recall, um, wasn't, wasn't it the goodies on the 2-Bit Broadcasting Corporation who, who uh, some, some, uh, some guy's wife had written into the BBC and said that her husband had died laughing while watching an episode of the goodies. Right, and that's and that's kind of the point I'm trying to make because if if you listen to too much of uh, James, oh my God, um, who seems to be on holiday or something, he's uh, been having guest hosts fill into him <clears throat> on his uh, 10 a.m. show. Um, and Natasha demanded, um, you know, who is equally hilarious, in my opinion. <laughs> there's, there's, there's only, there's only so much of this humour that you can stand, you know. I don't want to die laughing. Isn't he a Welshman? Die laughing. Oh, you boy, oh. No, I don't think so. Could be wrong about that. Anyway, sorry, I'm just taking the pee again. Um, so there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button. Click the dislike button. Because I am quite certain that there are a shed load of Labour Lefty Loon whack jobs out there who are just twitching their fingers over their mouse to click the dislike button. And of course, you can always leave a comment if you can. That's of course provided you did not receive a state school governed education back in the days when Labour lefty loans were in government. But that's another story. So, um, catch you later. Bye for now.